Jinara Begum Sahib was Shaksadi of Mughal as the eldest surviving daughter of Emperor Shah Jin and Empress Mumtaz Mahal. She was also the older sister of her father's successor and the sixth Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. After Empress Mumtaz Mahal died from complications of giving birth to her fourteenth child, she became Padsha Begum of the Mughal Empire. Biography Upon the death of Mumtaz in 1631, Juranara, aged 17, took the place of her mother as First Lady of the Empire, despite her father having three other wives. As well as caring for her younger brothers and sisters, she is also credited with bringing her father out of mourning and restoring normality to a court darkened by her mother's death and her father's grief. One of her tasks after the death of her mother was to oversee the betrothal and wedding of her brother, Dara Shaiko Tibigam Nadira Benu, which had been originally planned by Mumtaz Mahal, but postponed by her death. Juranara's mother, Ayuman Benu Begum, Empress Mumtaz Mahal died from complications of giving birth to her fourteenth child, some time after the birth. Mumtaz Mahal's personal fortune valued at 10 million rupees, was divided by Shah Jin between Janara Begum and the rest of her surviving children. Her father frequently took her advice and entrusted her with charge of the imperial seal. Shah Jin's fondness for his daughter was reflected in the multiple titles that he bestowed upon her, which included, Sabat el zamani and Padisha Begum, or Begum Sahib. Her power was such that, Unlike the other imperial princesses, she was allowed to live in her own palace, outside the confines of the Agra fort. In 1644, just days after her 30th birthday, Jaquenera Euro unregistered trademark S garments, doused in fragrant perfume oils, caught fire, leaving Janara seriously injured. Shah Jin, so concerned for the welfare of his favorite daughter, nursed her back to health himself. After the accident, the princess went on a pilgrimage to Moinad in Chaisha Euro unregistered trademark S shrine in AJMER. After her recovery, Shah Jin gave her rare gems and jewelry and bestowed upon her the revenues of the port of Surat. She later visited AJMER, following the example set by her great grandfather Akbar. Relations with family there is record of disagreements between Janara and her younger brother Aurangzeb, whom she had referred to as the White Serpent, also referring to him as a tiger and panther. There also seemed to be some sort of tension with her younger sister, Roshanara Begum, three years her junior, who seemingly resented her elder sister's position as First Lady of the Empire. Janara took the side of Dara Shaiko in the struggle for the throne. Dara had promised her to lift the ban on marriage for Mughal princesses which Akbar had introduced. Had he triumphed, her power would likely have continued. On Aurangzeb's ascent to the throne, Juanara joined her father in imprisonment at the Agra fort, where she devoted herself to his care until his death. After the death of their father, Juanara and Aurangzeb were reconciled. He gave her the title, Empress of Princesses and she replaced Roshanara as First Lady. Juanara was soon secure enough in her position to occasionally argue with Aurangzeb and have certain special privileges which other women did not possess. She argued against Aurangzeb's strict regulation of public life in accordance with his conservative religious beliefs and his decision in 1679 to restore the poll tax on non-Muslims, which he said would alienate his Hindu subjects. Burial Upon her death, Aurangzeb gave her the posthumous title, Sabat er Samani. Juanara is buried in a tomb in the Nizamuddin Daga complex in New Delhi, which is considered remarkable for its simplicity. The inscription on the tomb reads as follows, OL WOEO plus or minus O cubed OL squared UUUU three quarters UOO UL cubed UUO squared O terahertz plus or minus UO plus or minus O section UOO L plus or minus U three quarters UOO plus or minus WOEO L kiln UUIU WOEO MIGAOCHM UOL cubed O terahertz cubed O. Allah is the living, the sustaining. Let no one cover my grave except with greenery, for this very grass suffices as a tomb cover for the poor. The mortal simplistic princess Janara, disciple of the Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti, daughter of Shah Jin the Conqueror, may Allah illuminate his proof. 1092, 1681 AD. Personal attributes No formally attributed likeness of her is known to exist. She was highly educated and well versed in Persian and Arabic, as well as a writer, 
painter and poet. Juanara was known for her active part in looking after the poor and financing the building of mosques and wise. For example, when the Sayabi was going to set sail for its first journey, she ordered that the ship make its voyage to Mecca and Medina and that every year 50 koni of rice should be sent by the ship for distribution among the destitute and needy of Mecca. In Agra she is best known for sponsoring the building of the Jami Masjid in 1648 in the heart of the old city. She also made a significant impact on the landscape of the capital city of Shahjunabad. Of the 18 buildings in the city of Shahjunabad commissioned by women, Juanara commissioned five of them. All of Juanara's building projects were completed around the year 1650, inside the city walls of Shahjunabad. The best known of her projects was Shandni Chowk, the main street in the walled city of Old Delhi. She constructed an alleged caravanserai on the east side of the street with gardens in the back. Herbert Charles Fanshaw, in 1902, mentions about the serai, proceeding up the Shandni Chalk and passing many shops of the principal dealers in jewels, embroideries, and other products of Delhi handicrafts. The Northbrook Clock Tower and the principal entrance to the Queen's Gardens are reached. The former is situated at the site of the caravanserai of the Princess Janara Begam known by the title of Shah Begam. The Sarai, the square in front of which projected across the street, was considered by Bernia one of the finest buildings in Delhi, and was compared by him with the Palais Royal, because of its arcades below and rooms with a gallery in front above. The Sarai was later replaced by a building now known as the Town Hall, and the pool in the middle of the square was replaced by a grand clock tower. Sufism, together with her brother Dara Shaiko, she was a disciple of Mullah Shah Badakhshai, who initiated her into the Kaderiya Sufi order in 1641. Juanara Begum made such progress on the Sufi path that Mullah Shah would have named her his successor in the Kaderiya, but the rules of the order did not allow this. She wrote a biography of Moinuddin Chishti, the founder of the Chishtiya order, titled Muriyuro Unregistered Trademark Nis al Awayen, as well as a biography of Mullah Shah titled Rise Alaya to the First Ayen Ibiya, in which she also described her initiation by him. Her biography of Moinuddin Chishti is highly regarded for its judgment and literary quality. In it she regarded him as having initiated her spiritually four centuries after his death, described her pilgrimage to Ajmer and spoke of herself as a fakra to signify her vocation as a Sufi woman. Juanara Begum stated that she and her brother Dara were the only descendants of Timur to embrace Sufism. However, Aurangzeb was spiritually trained as a follower of Sufism as well. As a patron of Sufi literature, she commissioned translations of and commentaries on many works of classical literature. In popular culture, her early life is depicted in the Royal Diaries book series as Juanara, Princess of Princesses, India, 1627 by Catherine Lasky. Juanara is the protagonist of the novel Beneath a Marble Sky, by John Shus. She is the main character in the novel Shadow Princess by Indu Sundari Sen, published on March 23, 2010. She is also the main character in Jean Bothwell's An Omen for a Princess. Actresses Malasena and Manisha Kaurala have portrayed the role of Juanara in their respective films, namely Juanara and Taj Mahal, An Eternal Love Story. Literature, eerily. Abraham. The Mughal Throne. London. Phoenix Pages 555 Pages. ISBN 978-0-7538-1758-2. Preston, Diana and Michael. A Teardrop on the Cheek of Time. London. Doubleday Pages 354 Pages. ISBN 978-0-385-60947-0. Lasky, Catherine. The Royal Diaries, Juanara, Princess of Princesses. New York, Scholastic Corporation Pages 186 Pages. ISBN 978-0439223508. References.